guys, how's it going? My name is CJ. So the iPad Smart Keyboard Cover is a great way to improve productivity and makes for a much better typing experience on iPad Pros. But unlike a laptop keyboard, the Smart Keyboard unfortunately doesn't have any function keys to help navigate the device. But fear not, there are a few nifty little keyboard shortcuts that you can use to improve your productivity just that little bit more and maybe make your experience with the iPad a little bit smoother and save you the effort of switching from typing to poking buttons on the screen. So let's take a look. To start off with, you have the most commonly used and probably the most universal keyboard shortcut out there, the command tab shortcut. This allows you to quickly flip through apps that you've recently used and if you're one that needs to quickly switch between apps, then this is a great one to use. You can use this shortcut all throughout the operating system regardless of the app and it looks very similar to the experience you get on Mac OS. Next is Spotlight. You can actually launch Spotlight anywhere in the operating system with another combination taken from the Mac and that's the command space combo. Hitting command space will then allow you to search anything you want really. If you want to launch another app that you haven't already used or you don't have to go back to the home screen, you just type it into the box and launch it from there. Alternatively, you could use it as a launch pad to perform an internet search for anything from recipes, directions, or even closing hours of a shop. Then if you want to close it, all you need to do is just hit the same combination and bang, you're out. Very similar to, again to the spotlight function on Mac OS. If you want to save your home button from constant wear and tear, you can very easily hit Command H to get back to your home screen. It's pretty simple and easily remembered since uh, H basically stands for home. The next is app specific shortcuts. So whilst there are already a few operating system wide shortcuts you can use with the smart keyboard, different apps have their own custom shortcuts and well, whilst I won't go through every single app and their inbuilt shortcuts, you can experiment at home with the different apps that you already use. So to access info boxes within the apps to tell you what other shortcuts you can use, all you really need to do is just hold the command button in the app you're working with and it'll give you everything you need to know. So for example, I've loaded Safari here and then by holding the command button, it comes up with a box showing you a bunch of different shortcut combinations you can. So here it tells me I can use the control tab to flip through my Safari tabs and there we go. So do check out what combination or what different shortcuts have been tailored to each different app through the command button. And so there we have a very quick overview of some of the basic shortcut functions that come with the smart keyboard. Obviously it takes a lot of cues from Mac OS, so if you're coming from a Mac then this will feel very familiar. But some features are missing that I would have liked to have seen brought over to the iPad such as hitting control and arrow to flip between full screen apps, but these could be added in time with a software update. Anyway, I hope this video has helped, even in a small way, in making you just that little bit more productive on the iPad Pros. Now if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I hope I see you in the next one. Say good day to your mum for me. Cheers.